right, we're back in Montana. First BMA of the day. It was a long trip last night. Got in about, what time? 7.30, 8 o'clock. Drove fast, but all in one day. Had a good sleep last night, so we're not far from the hotel again, like last year. Just a totally different spot. We're gonna try this area, it looks pretty good. And uh, hopefully find some Sharpies and some Huns. Gotta find the Huns this year. Yep. We are back in Montana. This year I'm carrying a new side by side. Haven't really fired it much, so haven't shot at a bird yet. Let's see what happens. Nice. I can't reload fast enough. Here, here, here. <laughs> Good boy, I got two. Oh shit, they're everywhere. Sawyer, I got two down here, Tom. That was a big covey, Tom. Oh, here's one here. Oh, good boy, good boy. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Well, this is a young one here. First bird of the year. There's another. Ah, uh, great. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, here, come. It's not a bad start for the new shotgun. Three for three. I'll take it. As you can see, this week started off really hot. Uncomfortably hot. It's just a one gallon garden sprayer with just water in it. Works really good. This wand is way better. You can just get it right underneath them. In this heat, it's just dog power management and keeping a close eye on them. And we moved on to the next spot. Back in Tom's Raptor again, and it's hard to beat this truck. This is actually the first walk of the trip, and it's kind of a rugged area. It didn't really look that great for sharp tails, but we thought maybe we could find some huns. This year we got Tom's six-year-old setter, Abby. She's pretty new to hunting. Uh, she has some experience, but she's pretty much gaining it right now. Huns. Hot and dry and no wind in this here, spot here, and Abby, Sawyer here. just blew that covey. Here.
but it is getting hot it is going to be very hot today 95 so we're out here we'll probably have to be off 10 a.m it'll just be too warm chasing a covey of huns tom had a little problem with his gun not firing he's got an old vintage side by side he went back to the truck to get another one back with old reliable I'll be honest there's not a lot of bird activity in this walk but damn is it scenic sometimes you just need to take it all in and enjoy That creek bottom down there is going to lead to our next little adventure. I got a notification that Abby's on point right along that creek bed. That can only be a couple of things, either pheasant or the pokey type of porcupine. Well, one's feeling better and one's probably not. <laughs> Bad? All over oh, we haven't had many porcupine encounters on these trips, but this one was different. This is Abby's first hit. Sometimes English dogs act yeah. like they're German. <laughs> She's a mess. <laughs> it wasn't 15 minutes later and Abby found another. Here. She got it in the face and Sawyer came in after and he got it too. Well, good job, dumbass. If you're a dove hunter, man, Montana's hard to beat. We have never saw so many doves in our life. They were everywhere. So this is a piece of state land where we're on day two. Yesterday was a million degrees. Today's a lot better. We came and scouted this yesterday afternoon while it was, I don't know, about 95 and actually saw a bird pop off the road. So we think there's some here and it's kind of a, kind of a spot that doesn't look like anybody would come back to, so. We're here in the morning and try to get it done. It's a little cooler today, but it's still going to be kind of warm, but not as much dust, had a little rain, so. Try to keep these ridges covered by keeping someone up high and someone up low. This area's got a lot of oil rigs in it and 
Sharp tails live happily right next door. That coyote followed us for a while, kept his distance, but man, he was not happy, barking at us, howling. We just kept the dogs away from him. He made his way out. Oh, Sawyer's on point. Right at the top of the hill. Son of a bitch. Didn't look too sure about it though. Maybe something was sitting there. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a good spot. Yeah. Can kind of see everything. A little bit of shade. That, that coyote was going through there too. Yeah, I wonder. If there was something there, he could have scared it. All the fucking chatter. This is a good lesson too. Stay up high and pay attention to your dog. Sir so kept coming down, going back up. We totally misread him. Oh shit, there's birds. Oh, oh. No, here. Oh. Holy Get that bird! Good boy! At least my shooting was on. That shot was just under 40 yards. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> I'm happy with that shot. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Found a nice little ditch full of water. Cool the dogs down because it was heating up fast. next day and weather changed, wind came out of the northwest and brought in the smoke. This whole trip was full of Canadian wildfire smoke in a bad way. Had to affect the dog's nose because we just didn't get the performance that we're used to. It was bad. Look at that smoke in these valleys. It was kind of a theme for the few days we were out. Good job, bud. This valley was full of pheasant, so we just decided to let the dogs poke around and get a little bit of work in. Let's see another pheasant. Conditions were not great. Smoke, wind, dry. Oop. Not good. Tom managed to pick up a hunt on top of the hill, single all by itself. Top of that hill. They got a pretty tail. Yeah. Under truck naps are hard to beat. Found a group of sharpies along the road, so we decided to just hang out and observe. It was kind of fun.
It's a pretty big covey. I suppose we could have jumped out and made it look good. Pass. These shots give an idea and how much smoke there was. Another type one block management had really nice cover, brush spread out, coolies. We're gonna stop. Same deal, windy, dry, and smoky. Again, not great for dogs. And we didn't have that great dog work in here, but we got some action. Here's Brody out in front of me with the covey. Huh? Puts up. And I miss. Don't worry, that shot wasn't low. The camera makes it look lower than it is. Dog was safe. I got one down. Another long range poke. Birds were flushing really wild in this area. Just couldn't get anything to hold. Dead bird, dead bird. might have it yeah good girl bro to here bro to here here <laughs> okay Sawyer yeah that one for me a little juvenile. He was the laggard. <laughs> Ended up with two more nice shots and two birds, but didn't have the camera runner for some reason. This is Abby pointing a dead bird when she uh, she didn't know it was there. Dead bird. Good girl. Whenever Sawyer steps on a cactus, he just kind of stands there and waits for me to deal with it. Oh, there it is. I got you, bud. Just a tip, buy some needle nose that have a spring open on them. Just a little easier than Leatherman's. Good dog. Let's 
scratched out three, but easily could have had two limits in that walk. This area was really pretty. Big valley with these big ridges. Just picturesque. Hey, bud. Sawyer's covering all the hot spots. Just came up empty here, but man, was it pretty. Probably some pheasants in here. Yep. yep. Hip, 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 hip. There's another. We were almost done with this walk, but we saw this little bunch just behind the truck on their way out, so easy enough to go over there and check it out. Whoa. Whoa!
That second shot, I actually had a failure to not fire for some reason. Good dog. Dead bird, bud. Dead bird. Find him. Dead bird. Nice and clean. Good dog. I've been using a GoPro for many years and unfortunately made a couple rookie mistakes. Lost some footage of some nice walks, so you just have to trust me that we had a good hunt. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Montana Sharp Tales. See you on the next one. <laughs>